Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at o'clock. And I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. From B-Pal Picks, we're doing our picks. Now, you know that Curtis was on last time I did this. Problem is, we had some audio issues in our last video, and they were worse this time. So we had to just kind of, and it's late now. It's almost not when I feel like it, when I'm doing it right now. But I got to get these picks out for you. I get all your letters sending me like, where's the picks? Where's the picks? We want the picks. So I'm doing it. And uh, just for all of this, for your wait, for your, for, you know, you're waiting at the edge of your seat. I know you were. You probably couldn't even sleep tonight because the video hasn't even come out yet. I'm sending all of you my NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace right to your door. Hernandez, I sent him out in the Pearlocopter. Filled it as much as we possibly could with pearls of wisdom necklaces, and I'm sending it out to all the land right now. Anyways, I'm going to be doing NHL picks for you. You know that, right? Of course, everybody in the land knows that now. Uh, we got tons of them. I got tons of them for my patron members, uh, and I got tons of them for you. I was just talking to Curtis. We did put down our picks. We talked back and forth. I really wish we could have talked and did the video together, but we can't, so that's okay. We're going to make it work, aren't we? So let's get to it. Starting off with Pittsburgh and Boston. I have a pick on the... We have the pick on the line here. So we're giving you a pick on the total. Uh, it's at... The line moved. I think this was five and a half. Oh my gosh, we were looking on the over up five and a half. Um, Curtis was thinking the over here. I don't like betting overs with Rask and Net, but I get it because Boston started to hit it out of the park. Jar Jari hasn't been playing well, and Pittsburgh's uh, defense has been suspect. However, Boston still doesn't have Pasternak back. Pittsburgh could win this game. Um, it's, uh, like we have a pick on the ML, but we're going to go over six here, tentatively speaking, uh, Rangers versus, uh, the Rangers versus Buffalo, uh, we are, we have a pick on the total. So we're going to go give you a line here on this. Um, now, Buffalo's coming off a big win off of Washington. They have a lot of confidence. The New York Rangers have been struggling a little bit so far early, uh, looking like a young team, uh, younger than last year, like they haven't progressed um, to some extent. I have a feeling this is going to change. Georgiev has been confirmed. So Shesterkin wasn't playing all that great. Gorgiev is is good, but not a great goaltender. Uh, Omar will probably be in, has looked pretty decent. I just think that Buffalo is going to keep on going with the flow here, and I'm going to give you Buffalo ML on this one. Um, Devils versus Florida, we have a play on both, so we can't give it to you, unfortunately. Uh, can't do any play on that. Philadelphia, New Jersey. We have a, I'm sure we had a play on this. Okay, we don't. Uh, Philadelphia, New Jersey. This is a tough game. Philadelphia has been struggling. I don't like their defense all that much right now. Uh, New Jersey, with New Jersey, with uh, Wedgwood and Net. I really would be looking at the spread here, probably. Um, but I don't like the juice for Philadelphia. I think that's yeah, that's what we did here. I didn't like the juice for Philadelphia. Um, uh, sorry, I wanted to go the total. What's going on here? I hit something. So, yeah, I'm going to go the total on this. Uh, total, 
Yes. Okay. Five and a half you're getting for most. Uh, with Wedgwood in net, Philadelphia's defense playing so poorly. I do believe Elliott's in net. I probably lean the over on this. And for the juice you're getting on the line, you might as well go with New Jersey. Uh, with Philadelphia playing the way they're playing right now, on the road, I don't like 162. I'm not saying that New Jersey's going to win this game, but there's a good enough chance that they're going to win it that I'd take the 235 before I would take the 162 for Philadelphia. Um, Washington versus the Islanders. And, of course, we know uh, all that's been going on with Washington, with, uh, what, Ovechkin out, um, uh, Kuzi's out, and Orloff out, Samsonov not playing. Islanders had a rough go of it their last game in New Jersey. Uh, Varlamov should be in here. Um, I th being on the road, they're a good road team. I think I would lean the Islanders on the ML. I can't give you anything on the total here. But I would live lean Islanders on the ML. I just can't see the Islanders playing two bad games like they did in New Jersey. Uh, it, something is really wrong if they do. Because it's seldom, if ever, do they ever do that. Um, Los Angeles versus Minnesota. Los Angeles has been playing really. Look at this now. The line has changed. This is a toss-up. Before Los Angeles was getting... Uh, no, that's not right. This is get a toss-up on opening. Go to opening here. Uh, that's interesting. Um, Los Angeles is playing a lot on the road. Uh, Minnesota is going to have Kakinen in net, probably. Los Angeles is going to have Pedersen in net. I've been back and forth on this one. I'm going to give you an ML here because I don't... I, we we picked Minnesota ML, but I'm almost thinking Los Angeles. I can't remember now why we picked Minnesota here. I'm almost thinking that Los Angeles would be able to pull this one out. Uh, you're getting good juice at 240. They played really well against St. Louis. Uh, I'm going to switch it up and say Los Angeles ML, but I'm going to say that Curtis says Minnesota, so do what you want with that. Uh, Chicago versus uh, Nashville. We have a play on the on the total here, I believe. Uh, yes, we have a play on the total, so we're going to give you something on the money line. Um, I really think that if you're going to play anything here, you might as well take Chicago because Nashville has been playing super poor. Have been playing very poorly. I'm not confident about the pick, but there's no real reason to take Nashville at 153 here against a Chicago team that's looked a lot better so since their last since their first few games coming on with a little bit of confidence and Nashville just got absolutely smacked and looked horrible against Dallas. So I would probably take Chicago. Um, Oilers versus Jets. Uh, we have a play on the total. You know, no, we don't. We have a play on the line here. We can't give you. We have. We can give you a play on the total here. Um, we kind of argued back and forth on this one. Oh, it's gone up to six and a half here. Uh, with Hollabuck in net, I'm not big on it. Curtis liked the over still. I'm leaning more the under with Hollabuck in net in this game. Um, so leave that up to you. My my thinking is that, but th I believe this was six before, and I don't think that, um, Curtis would have been so strong on the over here if uh, if it was six and a half. So we're going to go lean to the under on that one. Uh, Detroit versus Dallas. We have a play on the line. We can't give you one. We have a play on both here. Uh, we can't give you that one. Uh, yeah, no, we can't give you that one. Anaheim, Arizona. We have a play on the total here. We have, so for on the line, I'm going to go Arizona just because they're at home. Um, Anaheim at the 215 is good, but they've been playing a lot. Uh, Arizona just came back from Vegas. 
uh, had a had a stretch with Vegas. <clears throat> I just think because of the home team, I'll give them a little bit of an edge. Uh, what really is good on this one is the total. Go over to Patreon, boys and girls. Patreon, that's the where all the frolic is. Uh, I'll give you the link in the bio, and you can sign yourself up there. It's uh, pretty cheap, and people are making lots of money, so I'd highly recommend it. Uh, Toronto versus Calgary. Um, we went back and forth on this. I don't like this game in any way, shape, or form, and neither does he. I'm going to say Toronto just because they keep on surprising me on the line. As far as the total is concerned, I think this was like six and a half. Wow. I lean the under. That's all I can say about that. San Jose, Colorado. This is your paid pick for today. I would take uh, Colorado um, in regulation against San Jose. I just think their lineup is way too strong for their for San Jose's defense. Uh, down deep, they should pretty much destroy them. They just came off a long road trip, uh, which has been a problem uh, in past when the guys were on the road and they could do things. But it's not really showing up now that they have the whole COVID situation where they're locked up. It actually bodes well for the first game at home. It seems that the energy changes and they're able to play at a higher level. Um, I can't see Colorado being uh, having the difficulties they had against Anaheim. They were tired at the end of that. I am a little bit concerned about Colorado and being tired. Uh, I thought that they would be stronger against weaker competition even when they were tired. So it's something to watch out for. Uh, Vegas versus St. Louis. Uh, we are we are going to give you Vegas over the St. Louis Blues uh, on the ML, and but we have a play on the total that we can't give you. But the ML Vegas is getting one seventy against the Blues. Uh, the reason why we're doing that is Laner's in that both of us really like Laner, and Bennington's been a little bit shaky. So that's our full forty two boys and girls. It's late. I usually have more time to frolic with you. But uh, I really am on the tired side myself. So hit the subscribe button if you could. That would be fantastic. All the cool kids are doing. And hit the like button and comment down. Tell me what you're picking. I want to see what you're picking. We don't know everything here. Not even close. In fact, when I was hitting at my best, I was working with uh, the comment section and getting leans and stuff like that. And we worked back and forth. And when you comment like that, you, you sometimes get free picks out of me because I forget. So good idea to do that. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. And lots of love to ya.